What's up people? In this video we are going to do Aline Yu. Here is the video where they talk about what these fitness models are eating. This is after I made the plant-based bikini girl model. Um, I'm not going to do all these. I guess I'll do this one. I am kind of curious as to what they eat to look like that. Um, cause some of those girls, man, booty game strong. Uh, if you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers, let me know. Leave me a comment. My day, whether I'm actually in competition season or off season, is predominantly pretty much the same. I just eat more or less of. I only whole food, so I eat a plant-based diet, and very rarely will I have much stuff that's refined or processed. For breakfast, I had a green smoothie, so I did mango, banana, spinach, kale, spirulina, hemp seeds, and I think I used almond milk. For lunch, I'll probably have something a bit more substantial. Again, I usually base the largest part of my meal on something carb-heavy, so whether that is some quinoa or some pasta or a sweet potato or something like that. I might have, say, a jacket sweet potato with some vegan cheese. At night, I usually love to have some. Oh shit, I just realized this. I wonder how fast I'm watching this. I don't know why my computer did this, by the way. Uh... Yeah, 2.0. Um, edamame, because um, edamame has a complete uh, amino acid profile and a high source of uh, phytonutrients and protein. I love to also have um, basically some kind of a tempeh or a tofu. I love tofu and tempeh, um, so I'll definitely incorporate that with some uh, some sauteed vegetables, um, you know, meat vegetables, um, sweet potato, and oftentimes I eat some quinoa and brown rice. I really like tofu or tempeh. I eat a ton of soy. For people who are wondering, like, is soy okay? I've been eating it every day for at least the last four years, and I feel amazing. So <laughs> as, as far as I'm concerned, it's a healthy, sustainable choice. So usually what I eat in a day, um, I have certain staples for different meals. So for my breakfast, I always have some oats, um, with berries or i'll have a protein smoothie like a green protein smoothie with spinach banana some pb2 powder and then i'll put some oats on that too i also recommend people start out with like a big romaine salad before every meal because it helps you get full um and then it just adds some more nutrition yeah honestly so far i'm not impressed really um the more that i like now that i'm like taking a closer look at these girls and what they actually look like instead of just being like looking at their asses like i did in the first video um none of them seem particularly athletic maybe the last one but like she's a bodybuilder so like you know her cardio is like doing the elliptical um which is fine but that's just not in my opinion what a true test of is a diet good for you gonna do like this salad right here is there's nothing in this you know what i mean like why would i not why would i eat this but like if i'm training basically i'm thinking to myself okay if i ate this food on days where i trained I would like how would I be alive I wouldn't be like I'd waste away to nothing and I feel like shit so when are they gonna get to like honestly what I what I actually probably would have liked to see is um, men what men eat like the guys who are fit who are preferably not on steroids um, or if they are fine but like wh what do the men eat because girls they eat like birds anyway like all right you had a salad you had like a fruit shake you had some quinoa like okay fine it's I'm not impressed, honestly, like, sorry, I'd, I'd love to go vegan, I don't want to hurt any animals, but, I don't know, you know, like, what is this? ...to your meals, actually, when I go out sometimes with people, they're like, uh, seriously, like, you eat more than most people, and I'm like, yeah, I know, it's kind of terrifying, people don't realize, but when you're eating the right foods, you can eat a lot, so I'm never hungry, um, I don't deprive myself of anything, um, I just really try to stick to real foods and as much unprocessed stuff as I can, and then I just eat as much as I want. A typical day for me usually starts with, uh, for breakfast, I'll have oatmeal, usually half a cup of oatmeal, uh, sometimes with berries or half of a banana, I like to add cinnamon powder, uh, I use stevia to sweeten my oatmeal, um, sometimes I'll add a little bit of flaxseed, um, so that's usually what I have for breakfast on a daily basis. Then I will usually have a snack, maybe a piece of fruit, uh, an apple, or another half of a banana. Um, for lunch, I'll usually have maybe some rice and some beans or, or lentils with some veggies. Um, I like to have broccoli, cauliflower, uh, kale. Um, then later on, I'll have another snack, maybe some rice cakes with some uh, peanut powder. Um, and for dinner, I'll usually have potatoes. I love potatoes, sweet potatoes or red potatoes with uh, some veggies as well. And I also like to include tofu uh, for dinner. And uh, that's usually what I have on a regular basis. For lunch, I like to have kind of like a bowl, like maybe quinoa or rice and beans and lots of vegetables. And then for dinner, I don't know, <laughs> um, anything really like pesto pasta or soup, I don't know. <laughs> you, could, you could eat so much as a vegan, like people think it's so restrictive and you only eat lettuce, oh God, that's one of the misconceptions out there, but you could basically make anything that's not vegan and make it vegan. I'm a foodie, okay, so I eat tons of food. I mean, if you try to portion control me, you're not gonna be my friend, you know what I mean? I want to eat, I want to eat tons of food. So I would like, like I look at these salad bowls, these non-vegans, like put little lettuce in there, and I'm like, what the heck is that? I take a huge bowl and I have colors of the rainbow all over. I have like at least 10 colors on my salad, right? I mean, it's just like amazing. People look at me and they're like, how do you eat so much? You know, but you know, that's the thing. I don't want to be hungry. I don't want to walk around starving. So I want to eat a lot. So I put tons of different colored beans in my... Yeah, and there's like no nutrients in the food. So you have to eat a lot. <laughs> it didn't mention that part. Um, yeah, honestly, not impressed. And now, honestly, like now that I take a closer look at, at these girls, I don't want to say nothing special. Some of them have, I guess, nice bodies, but some of them don't. 
actually like you know touched up photos like professional photos where like you take the one photo like the best out of like the 200 photos that you took i don't know it's not uh like how do you eat so much because you ate a salad there's nothing in that salad you know what i mean like plus you're always going to eat more when you're with your friends i don't know not looking good um yeah, I, I don't know. Not not looking good. Uh, period. You know, in my salad, tons of uh, different stuff. I mean, different colors, right? And so one of the advantages is you can eat more food, right? More volume because it's so full of fiber. It's actually actually like you know, it has negative calories. Your body has to work so hard to break down that fiber uh, food that it's just basically almost your metabolism has to spend its excess energy. Your body has to spend so much energy to break it down. Now you end up like losing weight anymore. So no, so my thing is all the diets tell you eat less, exercise more. I say the opposite. Uh, your body has to spend so much energy breaking down the food that you burn calories. Um, I mean there are no calories i don't want to say there are no calories in fiber but the body cannot digest fiber so as it comes in it goes out you know there's no like you're not it's not there's no nutritional content in there at all so i guess that's technically true that you will burn more calories just by being alive okay that's technically true but that doesn't mean it's a good idea. It sounds like a good idea to like, sorry, like dumb girls everywhere who are like, oh my God, if I eat fiber, I'll lose weight or I'll be, I'll be burning fat even faster. Like you're making it seem like all this stuff is like, I can avoid the gym if I eat fiber. I don't know. It's not, uh, it's, it's not the right thing to do here. Um, technically it's, it's not wrong. Like I guess if there are no calories, but your body can't digest it, but will probably be like breaking down the non-fiber pieces of your food. Like let's say on a lettuce, for example, right? Lettuce has fiber and water, maybe like trace amounts of like some other stuff. So as your body's breaking that down, it's like separating the water from the fiber for lack of a better explanation. I guess that process will require energy from your body, but is it a lot? No, you shouldn't think it's a lot either. You know, eat more good food and exercise less. So one of the most interesting and, and ironic things I probably hear from clients, well, a lot of people assume if they go vegan, they're going to be starving all the time and they're going to be so malnourished. And often my clients, they receive these meal plans from me where they said, I want to lose weight. And the first response is, oh my goodness, there's so much food on here. And I'm a huge advocate of eating small meals five to six times a day. Um, I think that's important if you are an active person, keep your metabolism revved up all day long. So I'm always eating every two to three hours. In terms of what food actually, I believe actually, I spent a lot of time fiber as well. So that's why I'm actually going to make bananas because fiber aspect of them. For breakfast, I always have oatmeal and a really natural candle. It's not something that I do with blueberries and dates. I'm um, a little bit of protein powder. For lunch, I do um, beans and rice with nutritional yeast and vitamin C sources. Um, beans have iron, and I have vitamin C, which I do with iron more. And then for Carb digestion, just lots of protein. Um, and then for snacks, I'll be adding rice cakes with quinoa, protein, butter, protein, low fat, and um, uh, some smoothie with a banana, like carbs, and hot dogs. I'm gonna work out because I'm gonna be replenishing your body with protein, also carbohydrates. First of all, I'm gonna be eating about five or six small meals, so I don't necessarily have like a big breakfast, a big lunch, a big dinner. Instead, I kind of break it all up throughout the day. Um, but also, I think another key tip is to drink a lot of water. A lot of times, when you're feeling dehydrated, we're actually we're, we're noticing that as hunger when we're really not as hungry as we think we are. So make sure you're drinking enough water. Um, and then just go back to the basics when it comes to snacks. I think things like a handful of almonds or some fresh fruit, um, some berries, uh, hummus, and vegetables, things like that. I think are the best snacks because we're getting nutrition out of them. We're gonna feel a lot more. I keep it super simple. I stick to foods I like. I have a creature habit. So every morning I have a smoothie. I put a lot of fruit in there, a lot of leafy greens, spinach, kale. I put a few plant-based protein, and then I'll add maybe some healthy fats like um, flax or chia, some nut butter, possibly, and whatever else I'm kind of feeling that day. I want to add some other super foods. So I my first meal, and I also have another smoothie post workout just because it's super quick and easy. My other meals are usually made up of either potatoes or rice. I usually do one to two, and then I have tempeh because personally I love tempeh. I eat all day, so I'll have tempeh with rice or potato, and then veggies. And then if I get you know hungry, meal, and I want a snack, I'll have an apple or a banana or just a piece of fruit. So I keep pretty simple. Of course, you know I'm special cases where I love eating burgers and other types of special dishes. It's super simple. I have smoothies. Sometimes I'll have protein mixed with oatmeal and fruit, and then I have my tempeh, my potato, rice, veggies. Before I went vegan, I also thought that carbs were bad. I mean, I eat high protein carbs all the time, so it was a little scary to have to eat so many carbs. But then yeah, I mean, realized I lost some weight and I stayed stayed for a while, so you have to eat I don't know. It's not. Uh, it's not looking as good as it was before. Th these girls are not like training the way that I would like to train. It's much easier to be attractive if you're a girl and you have big tits and a f huge ass, which I guess you can build on a vegan diet. You know, like I, I guess in terms of like building muscle on a vegan diet. Plus, girls don't really want to build a lot of muscle unless it's in their legs or ass. Not necessarily in that order. Um, but yeah a, a little too lean most of them i think right uh plus i'm not seeing really anything with any nutritional value i'm I'm wondering i know that's not all the food they eat in a day but like a little bit of shit, a little bit of tofu and like some beans and rice what is that like what's that doing for you really you know H how would i eat that i just have to eat a lot of beans and rice which i guess i could I don't know. It's not. It's not looking good. 
carbs. Yeah, it's okay. He has many carbs every single meal. So you know, proof you don't get fat. I try to eat a salad for lunch. Either a big salad with a lot of greens and veggies in there. I might throw in some sweet potatoes and lentils uh, you know, for protein. And also, uh, to, again, try to eat the rainbow. Sometimes I'll blend a raw vegan dressing in my vitamins and pour that on top. Or I'll use something as simple as apple cider vinegar. And for lunch, I have to do bowls. So I kind of fill these bowls um, where they have like some lettuce, rice, beans. I make them really colorful. So I put whatever here, and I help people eat the rainbow because every single color represents different nutrients and vitamins. And of course, I need my protein. So I'll add either some tofu, tempeh, some homemade seitan, or some mama beans. I usually try to have fruit first thing in the morning. Um, I really like pomegranate, so I try to eat pomegranate or I'm also cut apple uh, with some peanut butter. Um, oatmeal is also a big go-to for me because I always mix all sorts of stuff into my oatmeal. And I use just a quick, um, like one minute organic oatmeal that has nothing in it, but oats it super fast. And I throw in my cinnamon and nuts and cheese seeds and you know, protein powder if I'm working out or whatever else I want in there. Um, that's always a really good one. And then for lunch, I switch it up. I do pastas a lot in the middle of the day, especially if I have a busy day. I do a ton of pasta. I'll throw in some vegetables there. Um, I really love pizza. <laughs> I do a lot of pizza. Um, and for dinners, I usually try uh, to do um, roasted vegetables and rice or stir fries. Uh, soups. I have a slicker, so I love to make you know vegetable grain um, soups uh, and as well. And I snack all day long. I always will snack on you know carrots. I have some bean cookies. It's okay to do cookies in tea. It's not as bad. It's made from plants. It's really not as bad. Um, but I do snack kind of all day long. Nuts. Um, you know, green avocado hot sauce. Um, like always different. I just eat whatever I want. I'm just sticking to you know whole foods or plant and fruit and all the processed foods. No meat there. Obviously, it's hard to go I like to eat tons of raw vegetables uh, at lunch, and uh, sometimes I put tons of different colored beans on there, which is not raw but still very good for you. So I try to have chickpeas, kidney beans, and often stuff like that. Right before um, my workouts, I have basically like I try to have some arugula or some um, beets, because that's like, the best way to get your nitric oxide levels high, increase oxygenation um, in your muscles. That's such a good for every workout. I don't want to have poached or whatever you want to call it. And ultimately, I'm going to eat chia seeds, um, carrots, sea salt, or some milk. That's kind of breakfast for me. Um, and then when I eat all day, I eat like that. That's what I try to do. And lunch wise, I do actually have some beef lunch because it's normally a whole workout meal. So I'll have two bananas, almond milk, bean powder, and bean powder. All right. I, I don't know. I think I've seen enough, to be honest with you. Like, this is not this is not enough for somebody like me. I, I guess I could just increase the amounts. But I, I, get, I get nothing from eating vegetables. I'm not going to eat a fucking gigantic bowl of vegetables. Like, for what? Like, why? Actually, why? I, I, need, I need more in my life. Like, I'm, I'm active. I'm not like some girl, like, taking booty shots, pictures on Instagram. That's, like, my career. You know what I mean? I have shit that I do. <laughs> not that my career is, like, very active, but, like or I have a career even, um, but how am I supposed to, like a couple pieces of tofu? I don't want to like eat a bunch of tofu. I just don't, just, you know, estrogen, like I'm not trying to mess with that. A little bit I think is fine, okay. But wha where like I'm supposed to eat just like beans and rice and s a little bit of peanut butter and a lot of salad. I, I don't know. I think this honestly, like the more that I watch here, this really just appeals to girls who have fucking eating disorders and are just using this vegan thing as an excuse to like starve themselves essentially be like one level above or two levels above like skeleton hood. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not impressed to be honest with you. Thank you for telling me to do the video. Aline, Alina, Aline, you, um, uh, yeah, I probably won't. I, I should have watched this John Venus one. Fuck whatever. Anyway, if you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers, let me know. Peace.